therefore, it is found that the probability of electronic factory to produce faulty is 0.05. 5 printing machines are randomly chosen from the factory. So, 5 printing machines are randomly chosen. So, means n is equal to 5. Okay. So, A, construct a probability distribution table for the number of faulty machines. Okay. For number of faulty printing machines is talking about faulty and then draw a graph so we are talking about faulty so we know that the formula so we know that faulty and not faulty right so p s is equal to r is equal to n c r p r q n minus r where p is about what we are talking about we are talking about faulty right so faulty is 0 0.05 so, Q not faulty is 1 minus 0 0.05 or we get 0 0.95. Okay, so P and Q. And then we have our N which is equal to 5. So, now we need to draw table. So, here the table here. So, this one is uh, X axis which is R and then the Y axis is P X is equal to R. So, what is our X? So, we know that we have 5, we have uh, 5 sample, right? So, X is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we are talking about faulty. There might be 0, 40, 1, 40, 2, or 3, or 4, or 5. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, this one. Okay. So when x is equal to 0, so we just substitute inside the formula. So this is the formula, right? So n is equal to 5, 5 c 0, p is 0 0.05, this one is 0, and 0 0.95. So 5 minus 0 is 5. So here we are going to get 0 0.7738. So, P, X is equal to 1, so which is equal to 5C1, 0 0.051, 0 0.95, 5 minus 1 is 4, so we get 0 0.2036. So, P, X is equal to 2, so this one is 0 0.7738, 0 0.2036, so this one is 5C2, 0 0.052. This one and this one is the same, 0 0.95, 4, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So, here 0 0.0214. P, X is equal to 3, 5, C, 3, 0 0.053, 0 0.95, 5 minus 3 is 2. So, here we are going to get 0 0.0011. So this one, 0 0.0214, 0 0.0011. So P, X is equal to 4, is equal to N is 5, C, 4. So 5, C, 4, P is 0 0.05, R is 4, 0 0.95, 5 minus 4 is 1. So we get... 0 0.0003 and then px is equal to 5 is equal to 5c5 5 5. 0 0.05 power of 5 0 0.95 power of 5 minus 5 is 0 so here we get 3.1 times 10 negative 7 so this one is 0 0.0003 this one is 3.1 times 10 power of negative 7 So we see here, we should see the lowest and the highest point of the y-axis. This is the x-axis, this is at the y-axis, right? So we can see the highest is 0 0.77 or we can say that it's 0 0.8, right? Which is lower than, which is almost 0 up to 0 0.8. So we should uh, uh, choose a scale which can fit in our graph. So I'm going to use 0 0.1 each, 0 0.1. 
0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 and 0 0.7 up to 0 0.8. So, this is so Y. Make sure you make a straight line. Okay, because I just roughly sketched. So, this one is quite hard to make it straight. But make sure you do yourself a straight line using a ruler. Okay, so this one is 0 0.8. So, this one is represented by X is equal to R. And this one is represented by R. So, we know that our R is from 0. So, just make 0 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, you see here, we have that 10 small box. So, 10 small box is represented by 0, 1. So, 1 small box is represented by 0 0.1 divided by 10, which is 0 0.01. So, we know that 1 small box is represented by 0 0.01. Okay. So here, what you're going to do is that you just divide the number that you want to plot with 0 0.0.1 so you know how many box you are going to do. So 0 0.7738. So since we know that this one is up to 2 decimal point only, so you can just do 2 decimal point. Or you can just take 3 divided by 0 0.01. So it's 7, 7. Point. So, 77.3 7, box. So, 77.3 7, box. So, we know that this one, one small box is 0 0.1. So, 7 box. This one is 70 box. So, 77.3. So, basically, 77 is 3 below. So, which is somewhere here. Okay. This one then. So, this one is 0 0.2036 or 0 0.204. So, 0 0.204 divided by... 0 0.01 so you get 20.4 so this one one is actually 20.4 box so 20 20.4 so this one is 20.4 is in between this one 20.4 in between 20 and 21 so this one 0 0.0214 or 0 0.021 divided by 0 0.01 so here you get so here you get 2.1 box or just 2 box. So this one is 2 box from down here. So 0 0.0, 0 0.001 divided by 0 0.01. You get 0 0.1 box. So 0 0.1 box, you couldn't even sketch. It is less than 1 box. So this one is obviously less. This one is obviously less. So you couldn't even mark it on your graph. So you have 3 points. So you just pull it towards the uh, x axis. So use a ruler. It's supposed to be a straight line. So now this is your graph. So graph. So, two exactly printing machines are faulty. So, exactly two printing, which is this one, two. So, we know that our two is P, X is equal to two is equal. So, you can just take it from here, which is 0 0.0214. Second, more than one. So, it's, it can be... 2, 3, 4, 5 or it can be everything minus this one minus this one. So, which is equal to probability of more than 1 x is larger than 1 is also equal to 1 minus probability is equal to x is equal to 0 minus probability of x is equal to 1. So, here x is equal to 0 is 0 0.7738 minus x is equal to 1 0 0.2036 so we are going to get 0 0.0226